So today I discuss our newspaper material and today's topic is column. So first we discuss what is column. Column is axial marital compression member. Column, what is column? Column is axial marital member. If it is column and applied to its failure are two types. Crossing it fail by crossing or buckling. Now crossing if S heavy compression load is applied on a structure, then the cracks is appear and the structure is failed. This type of failure is known as crossing. What is buckling? Suppose it is a long column, very long column, force is applied, it bend like that. This type of failure is buckling. Now, what are the difference between the bending and buckling? Suppose it is a structure, force is applied, it, it deflect like that. And suppose it is also a structure, force is applied and deflected like that. If loading and deflection are same direction, this is called bending. If loading and deflection both are perpendicular in each other, then this is called buckling. I hope all clear about the buckling and bending and buckling. So next we we'll discuss the type of mono. Type of column. Type of column. First is short column. Second is intermediate or median column. Last one is long column. So, if we discuss short column, why common on the short column? Short column on the common way, Jogon the length, length is less than AD. Then we or the short column. What is D? If it is a square section or circular section, then D is a cross sectional dimension. If a type of cross sectional dimension is uh, more than the length of the column, then it is short column. Intermediate column 8D to 30D, then it is called intermediate column. And long column when the A is greater than 30, when the length is more than 30, then we call the long column. Now, modes of failure short column is failed due to crossing, intermediate column failed due to crossing and Buckling and long column fail due to buckling. Okay, so there are the modes of failure short column, intermediate column, and long column. Next, 
we discuss some numerical definition. First, um, we discuss about movement of inertia. What is movement of inertia? Relative movement. Relative movement. Suppose it is a solid structure. The movement is applied like that. It is a solid circular structure. So we have to get the movement applied. First, it is the Rotate both of them. Can the current the resistive capacity answer? In moment of the master's key increase for the address data, both the super. But rotate both the super. J point is a rotate both the start coach. One key the resistive capacity average. Suppose in one, in two, in three. In three, the other four set rotate both the super. One key the resistive capacity of moment of the answer for the other three. In three. So, moment of inertia, we have found y y axis and x s axis. Also, a rectangle of solid section, y y axis and x s axis. So, the formula is moment of inertia about x s axis, b t q by 12. If that is b and that is d, b is the width of the b. And D is the depth of the beam. If we find out the moment of inertia about the excess axis, then the perpendicular dimension, that is in D. D is a perpendicular direction of X. So, D is Q. Perpendicular direction is theta point to set on Q. So, the B, D cube by 12. What is I, Y, Y? D, B cube by 12. Y by the one part which is the particular key as a B. That is B is a cube for a whole. Here, R axis is more than Y one. Okay. Why? Because Julia has a key. At the section, circular section, I have seen that the key of circular section is there. That one. Julia has a rectangle or half rectangle section is there. Rectangle section में हमारा D more है as compared to D. D more वाले में ये जो हमें cube को ही तलाश ऐसे scholars हैं ना more है उसे। तो ये moment of inertia के पास तो हमें cube तो वही आ रही है इसके साथ हम सोचे basic है। Next radius of gyration। Radius of gyration. Radius of gyration we denote about sine of r. This formula is root over of i by e. What is i? i is a moment of inertia. And a is the area, cross sectional area. i is moment of inertia and e is cross sectional area. Okay. So r we find out about x axis and about y y. Okay, now we discuss about the statement as we say. We denoted by lambda. What is lambda? Lambda is a effective by r minimum. Here, r is radius of direction. But we use the R minimum. What is R minimum? R minimum R excess is less than R y one. What we calculate at the time of numerical time, we calculate the R excess and R y. Then we find out the minimum value and use the value received. Okay. Um, next, we discuss about uh, effective length.
effective length of column. What is effective length? If it is a column and it is the length of the column, so all over the length, non take parts in the buckling. Our column and pure portion are buckling minor. Which is the our portion ni buckling minor. This that buckling even for the supporting conditional rule. Two to fix our total one. Or the one active to fix. Active to hinge or the one support conditional rule. Our buckling portion or the one that is different. Now let me keep the total one. Length. Of column, take part in buckling is called effective length. Effective length. Okay. Now we must make the support condition required. We will have the effective length different for it. So, the supporting condition required on the effective length, they will have. First, both sides, it's fixed up. Both fixed. Next, One side fixed, one side inch fixed and inch. Next, both inch. Buckling 
Good. Kula has built a formula to calculate or to determine the critical load for bhakti on the load on which the long column is worked. Kula is built a formula for long column. Okay, there are some assumptions. Okay. What are the assumptions? Column is long column. Okay. Now, second, self fold neglect. Okay. Failure. Due to buckling. And the last load is purely axial and the material last one material is homogeneous isotropic linear elastic ok so the material is homogeneous and isotropic what is homogeneous material if that is a material ok there are some the point ok the definition of the homogeneous material is in a particular direction in a particular direction in any point elastic constant or same or constant in particular direction in any point elastic constant or same what are the elastic constant e g mean k ok what are the isotropic material if there is a material some point of the material in a specific point in any direction elastic constant or scale ok at the point of over general direction our elastic constant same at the same point of elastic constant general direction of e1 or at the point general point of general point of general direction of e2 ok so material is only in such a means in any direction any point elastic constant are same ok there are no variation in direction or in otherwise point ok linear elastic what does linear elastic we know the slope up to proportional limit stays is proportional to stay so there are some issues and we keep the picture about working formula what is this y square er by l effective square Critical load. Okay. What is E? E elastic constant. Elastic constant. I moving of inertia. L effective. We know effective length. Okay, so I'm going to do that. What I think I'll do is put on the board. Thank you.